what are the what's the roadmap looking like for maybe the next couple of years as far as what tools will be available to adjusters? And if you can speak to that. Absolutely. So uh, I'm the director of training uh, at Crawford Catastrophe Services. And, you know, what we're looking for are just good people, good people that want to to help folks. Um, now, the thing is, is that uh, one of the things that always attracted me to Crawford is that they're always pushing the envelope of embracing new technology. And I remember the days of uh, me getting that phone call that, hey, Jeff, uh, I need you to teach Xactimate. The carrier's moving toward, you know, away from Integra claim to Xactimate. I remember saying, sure, what's that? What's, what's Xactimate? And I remember sitting in the class with a lot of these veteran adjusters, and they were pushing back at this amazing, powerful program, Xactimate. And I was, I loved it. I fell in love with it right off the bat. And so, you know, a lot of our, you know, veteran adjusters, they were like mumbling and grumbling. They were d d just fighting the, the change. And that's normal, right. normal to fight, to, to fight change. But again, these adjusters are now using this program and it's making them very efficient. Same thing happened with uh, embracing Eagle View. You know, when, when Eagle View was introduced to the industry, that was a huge efficiency gain for a lot of our adjusters that didn't know how to properly sketch roofs. And so now this new technology is actually saving a lot of adjusters' lives, you know, when when they're they're able to to, yeah. to spend more time, you know, writing the estimate versus sketching that that roof. So it's just an evolution of, you know, using new these tools to um to help us be more efficient and accurate. Now one of the the things that we're building partnerships with is planner. Uh, Planner is one of those programs where you can just basically download the app on your phone, take your interior photographs, and it measures everything for you. And it has Xactimate integration where it's going to uh, to bring in that sketch into the program. Another company that we're also uh, working with is Hosta AI. And it, again, contains those two-letter words that are quite intimidating, but uh, same principle. These programs are there to help the adjuster. Uh, be more efficient and same principle, take your photographs, it measures everything. Um, and that's time that I can reinvest into making sure that, you know, I'm taking care of my customer. But you know what? I mean, contractors and repair persons like to argue about, you know, the accuracy of, of our estimate. Well, I'm, I'm referencing these technology tools that, hey, this tool is helping me be more accurate. So it's going to be very difficult to challenge something that, you know, that pretty much is automated. So again, um, there's a lot of other tools out there and, I'm, I'm not, you know, but we're all, we're testing them. And it's going to be interesting to, to know which ones get embraced. Cause you know what? The ultimate decider is the carrier, whether or not they're going to allow us to use these tools. But the other factor is whether or not the policyholder is going to accept the fact that AI is part of the claims process. So it'll be quite interesting to see how the industry evolves. Because I remember when when uh, this particular carrier that I was supporting embraced the, the drone inspection. You know, I'm thinking, hey, this is a new technology piece. It's these photographs we're getting are high definition. You know, I'm thinking it's going to keep adjusters safe from having to to climb these steep and and cut up two-story, three-story roofs. I'm like, wow, we'll just fly a drone and, you know, set that that flight path and we've got the information that we need, the damage information to to make a, a repair or replacement call. And we got Eagle View that measures the roof. So again, this is a huge efficiency gain, but you know what? The carrier scrapped it. They scrapped the drone inspection. You know why? Policyholders hated it. They didn't like the fact that a drone was determining, you know, <laughs> whether or not the roof was being replaced or 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 uh, repaired. So we're back to old school ways of yeah. getting up there and doing the, the damage verification. So the policyholders are very, they demand it more than anybody. So we'll see. Yeah, and that's interesting, you know, kind of going over sort of the evolution of claims in the last 25 years, you know, since you know, we both of us have been in this for since the 90s, I guess. Yes. And... It's not, this is nothing new. This is not, I mean, it's, it's obviously AI is it is in the, the form that we're using it and we're seeing it and everybody's using it to some degree, like every single day. I mean, you go on a website and it's got a chat bot or whatever, or you call. I mean, I'm, I can't imagine that that call centers are going to be full, filled with people 
you know, in the next five years or three, two years, because with voice recognition and then voice, you know, you can create a voice from my voice, right? You could create and, and have it sound like me and have it have full access to all the information and the knowledge base at a certain company. So these things aren't, they're, those are new things, but technology advancing is my point. It, is not new, right? So you probably remember the day that your manager, and maybe you were the manager, came in and said, hey, listen, uh, no more printed estimates. It's all digital now. You're going to upload it to the cloud. And then it's, you know, and I remember that day, and it was the same thing, just like the Integra Claim guys. I mean, I remember Integra Claim, and <laughs> it's, <laughs> there's no Integra Claim today. It's just not a thing. Um, but I remember when the, my manager, this carrier manager, walked in, and and she said, you know, we're doing something new to save paper or whatever it was. And it's, it's all, the whole file's digital, right. except for your billing invoice or something like that. It was, you know, some silly thing. And the room was like, oh, what? I mean, it's and everybody oh, like, and yes, one of the finally. Because they're so used to the old ways of doing it. And, but it's, yeah, we got to just create new habits. Yeah. And that was her point. She was like, She's like, you know, I'm I'm not super excited about this because I like to go through and like flip pages with my red pen and and then you know then f kick the file back to you and and uh, so yeah, it's it's interesting the technology and with the the tools that we're getting, you know, in my view, just like with the drone thing, there's a little bit of kind of like a catastrophizing that happens, especially on social media, right. where people have a a knee-jerk panic freak out about something new that comes yeah. along. Drones, you know, oh, well, it's just going to be some dude in flip-flops and board shorts with his, you know, his little DJI, whatever, what? Mavic. And, but it's not That's sticking tough. like they thought it would. And same thing with photo and scope. Um, that's something that's evolved from like, oh my gosh, that's taking all of our jobs and I can't believe, you know, it's undercutting the adjuster and all this yeah. kind of stuff. And it's still like, as a, you know, there's a place, a use case for those things, but it's not all claims, right? So it's, um, but it's a tool that we can use to to be more accurate. And in some cases, you know, the the, the homeowners are taking the, a lot of the small claims, right? We're not even going to get those because they can just do them from their phone. And, you know, what do they need to pay an IA for or a staff adjuster for when they can just, you know, collect the data just in their room and send it up, Right. But again, I mean, the, you're right. It's 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 the technology shows its face, but it's hard to predict how people are going to react to that. You know, um, so if you've got total losses or a large loss, you I personally, as a homeowner, I want to have I want a guy or gal at my house that can make a coverage decision and hand me a check. I'm not, especially for as much as I pay for homeowners insurance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, and then maybe that's, it may be that there's the different generations. I've heard people say, oh, well, you know, Gen Z or millennials or whoever, they're going to be, you know, they're all texting on the phone or what, you know, maybe, but you know, there's, they're, they probably can't buy houses with the economy these days. So it's still, you know, guys like us who own houses. And but you know, AI is actually being utilized by insurance carriers to best, um, it's also being utilized for underwriting to determine the pricing of policies and risk management. So, you know, AI is already in, it's it's already being utilized. So yeah. it's it's the the is is that what is its involvement going to be in the claims process? Well, demand is going to drive policyholders that whenever you know, let's say we we have a hurricane and, and I, I personally feel yeah. like we're going to hurricane, uh, here in 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 2024. They want to see an adjustment tomorrow. They don't want to wait a week, two weeks three weeks. That was, that was the norm 10, 15, 20 years ago, but everybody wants something now. And so we have to find better ways to get to everyone very quickly. And so, like you mentioned, large loss, you're, you're going to have a field adjuster that that's based off of the expectations of, of a manager. I don't, I think in a previous video, we talked about, you know, my large loss yeah. three years ago, house fire. If, if I didn't have somebody on my property, I would have been livid, you know. So uh, you're you're dealing with structural integrity at home. I, I need somebody. I need eyes on here. I would not accept anything less. So there's always going to be a need uh, in that realm. But but it also took it also took 30 days for for my large loss to 
to even get an estimate. Um, now, I again, I understood that because I'm in the industry. I was not one of those you know, high maintenance uh, insurers demanding, where's my money every day? I, I asked them, like, how soon can you get it to me? Give me a date. I'll leave you alone until that date. Um, but again, guess what the adjuster did? Just brought in a Matterport canner, camera, you know, basically scanned the, the first floor, scanned the attic, the attic, and didn't have to pull any any measurement tape. It came right into exact mate. So yeah. uh, again, you know, these are tools that that are there for us. And uh, if, if it can help us, you know, take care of the policyholder, then I'm yeah. embracing it. Because uh, we got to do your better. point, we got to do better. So there, it, increasingly, it, I think that you know we could say that the the new tools are making it harder and harder, um, making it easier and easier to do the job, and making it harder and harder for for people who don't really who don't have their hearts in this or have the right mindset about it to hide behind just doing the work. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at hagueeducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.